Grasha, Grashier, si Grasha with an S H A C C Grasa or my county people who use C instead of C S H. It's not that. It's Grashi Air. Yes, Grasha Maiki, thank you so very many. Uh, yes, you can interact with us at White Five on Facebook, White Five Four channel on X, White Five Four underscore channel on the gram. Myself, who my name is Valentine, or at Kalami Val. And yes, the season is coming, but Mr. Queen bear your song. Yeah, I will not sing for you. I will not give you pressure. If you want a Valentine, if you don't want a Valentine, to mesema either way it's Ash Wednesday. Eh. Wenda tu pige picha karibu na kanisa na post. Yes, and you continue with your life. <laughs> Meanwhile, we'll just enter the tail end of the conversation or the show. And we have a question we are asking on socials. That's why I'm imploring you to interact with us but before we get to your comments i would really appreciate these beautiful ladies on set with me introducing themselves hi good morning good morning sana we tell you a secret guys like for a good two hours not every day but most of the time what's your good day my name is Caroline <laughs> Awar. <laughs> <laughs> I am an ascent lawyer and I'm happy to be here. Mm -hmm. I hope you're going to have an interactive session together mm -hmm. and we're going to have something educative today. Mm -hmm. So tune in and join us. Mm -hmm. yes. You're very articulate. I like it. And mm -hmm. you are? <laughs> uh, okay. My name is Ruth Muihaki. Mm -hmm. I'm a journalism student. To be specific, media as a whole. Mm -hmm. I'm a media student at KC University, currently in my third year. I'm a sister, I'm a daughter, I'm a cousin. I can be a mother. Most of all, because I have a younger sibling, I have younger cousins, so I can be a mother. Also, yeah, I'm just happy to be here. Most of all, I'm a woman. I love women, not in that way, yes. Yeah, so I just love being here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. What's your social media handle? Um, my social media handle is at Instagram. It's at muihaki underscore Ruth underscore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Instagram is enough. <laughs> you go TikTok. Kitu sumbua. Wala. Wongo. We'll take that <laughs> apart. It's fine. And you are on social media? On social media, on TikTok, KalD006. On mm -hmm. Facebook, Caroline Saranga. And on Instagram, KalD006. Okay. Now, the first order of business, my people, is mm. we're going to ask this particular question. And I'm really, really glad you brought that up. Mbona siku hizi, ukiambia tade mwenzako wanakapo, lazima wanze kujitetea. Ama mwanaume anze kusikia vinyo meambia na muko beautiful. Mwanza kuliza kama mwende yoka nisa ingine. Why? What's the problem? What's going on? When did it become a crime to just, you know, compliment your fellow lady? Like, kama unakapo, abu wana unakapo. If I don't tell you, if I tell you, it won't change anything. So mbona nisukwambi? Thoughts? Hmm. Our community, our current community feels like we are uh, embodying westernization to an extent that we are not giving thought to our morals, uh -huh. our African morals. So, mimi kukwambia unakaa vizuri, how does that affect my morals and, and, and who I choose to... The anti-gay people uh -huh. feel like we are supporting LGBTQ. Just because mkwambia nyolea kwa inakaa vizuri. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> it's battling for other people who overthink. Uh -huh. So today, even when a man, a, a man of God is introducing himself in church, he's saying, I am married. He, he has That's to say, wife. I am married to a female <laughs> maid. And one wife. One wife. <laughs> one female wife. And we're like, oh, okay, so you have to say female wife. Sasa wife in a female. Ama. For the LGBTQ that it's is currently either. trending, okay. you don't just say it and leave it at no, that. No, 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 let's not cut corners. Let's just to maintain a direction to Likua because I, I think it's very confusing for me. The society, first of all, was uh, happen, basically that's how we've been raised knowing like the women mm. are their own worst enemies and I put that in very heavy quotes because I do not believe it's true. I think it's just the narrative that's being force fed into us. All right, kuna hiyo. Kido kidogo tuambiane o unaka smart. Makosa. <laughs> so tunafaka kufaya nini? Honestly, uh -huh. kamta na kapua na kapua. Eh! Hey! Unamombi, okay. Wakuna wale watu judgmental always. They'll always be there. They've always been there. So exactly she, me personally, if you look good, I'll just tell you you look good. Mm. I don't care if you'll judge me. I don't care if you'll say um, LGBTQ. I mean, it's 2024 and everyone wants you to identify as something. Mm. So it's a free world, honestly. So up on the trans at an identity crisis, we don't really 
we are fighting something in society. Yeah. We're trying to find our place, who we are, how we identify. But let me tell you, when easy, I, I let me say with Instagram because that's where I've seen it the mm. most. Unona mtu fast lazima ndikwe she her. Si uniangalia tu picha. Si Instagram ni ya picha. Si we angalia tu. Alafu angalia caption. Bas. Why do I have to add things over there? Do you feel like the society is, is racing for labels? Before we go to the labels, uh -huh. there's a comment you say that about women being enemies of themselves. Mm -hmm. Some allegedly. <laughs> Thank you for using the word allegedly. However, mm. I think what's trending currently mm -hmm. tells us that we really are women. We are enemies of ourselves. Why do you say that? Because uh, uh, there is a case in court that uh, a certain lady mm -hmm. caused grievous harm on a fellow lady because of the coping hair hairstyle. Hair. Yes. Now that got me wondering mm -hmm. why would you be doing that? Shouldn't you be complimenting your lady? Oh, I did notice you have the same hairstyle. You look beautiful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I look beautiful too. And it's good that we, we both look beautiful with the same hairstyle. Not mm -hmm. doing what she did. But. Uh, it also calls us ladies to actually come together in unison that you have to be your own sister's keeper. Mm -hmm. Let's not now talk to the brother's keeper as the Bible puts it, but we have to be our own sister's keeper. That is why when community brings labels on us, we have to stand together that if you disagree with this and this other person agrees with it, how about we weigh the options? Let us look at the pros and the cons and come to understand which side is best for us. Mm -hmm. Yes. How are you feeling about that particular story? <laughs> let me, uh, let yeah. me just brief the audience. If you've not heard the story, apparently Kulewana uh, Demflani, she had wakomta, yes? Mm -hmm. Setting is mta. Ah, yeah. So baby girl had a particular hairstyle. She, I think she had dyed, dyed a particular color. Yeah, yes. she had dyed a hair a particular color. So now e this, this altercation happened outside because now the, the scenes that occurred after is Alienda, akachukua sijui maf ledo, maftaya nini, au nyana nini wa samaki, au ma auntie, wana nini hapo, fry fry samaki hapo nje, alafu wakamuagia before dislocating Joe. So that was, me nikuwa na hapo ni asira mingi sana. And and I want to ask you maybe if, if I can twist the question a little bit. Do you feel like mental health mental health like why are you so angry as a person like why are you so angry okay up with our uh, mental health i don't think it's a, it exists mm -hmm. i think it's just jealousy because <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, at some point back to the story it started with our celebrities shaquille i don't know if it's shaquille and vera Sidika, mm. they had like the same hairstyle a red wig so they were blushing okay they were just well, corner to Kanana online. On online, so at yeah. least they didn't fight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were just abusing each other, throwing tantrums, like you copied my hairstyle and all. Now, when it comes to the local people, I don't know if it's mental, honestly, because Niwivu, you know, like she really copied me, so the anger comes up. Can it really be a mental issue? I yeah, but love skiria ke entakula sapa. What I'm thinking about is that we have the same hair color. Like, you and me we, we have the it's same personal. skin tone. I'm annoyed. <laughs> like, I'm a, you could die in Doshida because you could have died any other color. Probably she says it's personal. It's, it's personal. personal. It's yeah. Like, so maybe I'll be a motor. I'll have to go and get a say that for sure. <laughs> <laughs> that, that we're just speculating. But even if it's not about the man who be a motor of the situation. It could also be that this lady, maybe she had just had a bad day and she was <laughs> looking for a place to... Hey, yo, there's having a bad day and then there's Kuchomam to na mafta moto. So, mental health is true. But I'm sure the court will determine whether she's... Okay, sane. yeah, whether she's sane. She's of her sane, right mind. she's sane, but then she has to be. mental health is not all about sanity and insanity. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It also comes with emotions. Mm -hmm. What are you dealing with? Do you, do you have some <laughs> struggles in you that we don't know about? Mm -hmm. There are some internal struggles that you're fighting in your own battles in your room and it's only your pillow that can calm the tears. Mm -hmm. you every hey. night. So I think every Kenyan at this so point. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. okay.
Okay. I was watching a video, and this this is from as um, a trained trauma therapist. Now, should you come on your challenge? Uh, I am okay. We did one. I'm a TV personality, of course. Or should you do me? So now it's it's either different professions or whatever country you're from. I'm Kenyan, of course. What on a Kenyan in Konambio? By then in Konambio. Don't be fooled, Nikonambio. Anyway, so this trauma therapist said, I am from a, hey, uh, Tuaji, emotionally, hmm, I, I don't want to say unstable, I can't remember the exact words she used, but emotionally absent parents. Mm. Yes, they didn't tell you, oh, I love you, oh, good job, oh, it's going to be okay, oh, don't be afraid, oh, when you still want to movie, you know, I'm sorry, I'm from an African, the definition of an African household, they didn't have time for all that. So one of the side effects is they don't really know how to, or people, products of these particular homes don't really know how to regulate their emotions. So when I just took care, either I'm very happy, I'm, I'm very annoyed, and I really don't know how to, to either let the anger pass through me and then find a way to ground myself. Mm -hmm. uh, so do you feel like those are one of the avenues, Ruth? I know. <laughs> okay, being an African, like you said, uh -huh. we have all been raised in that setting. Missy Jim to Amerizua in an African home, and they're like... Wako, by the way. Wongo. Wako. <laughs> Wako. I have met a couple who are just looking at me. Like, and they, eh. they loved the, when they make a mistake. They're like, don't do that again. No. Eh, no, kai kwa are, kona. Eh, mimi nilikuwa. Okay. Um, I, I hear of certain <laughs> schools where uh, I have friends who are teachers mm -hmm. in some big schools and sometimes they're like you cannot just like Gen Z. punish a child <laughs> in school even raising Be your voice yes mm. <laughs> because the moment you raise your voice the, the child is just like mm, what are you doing you're losing your job tomorrow <laughs> you'll not be having a pace mm. and the next thing you know a parent is coming to the school and you don't have a job mm -hmm. so it happens there are Households where you don't just raise your voice at a child. I think like that's in the current generation. Yeah, current, current. Current Thank generation. But, but back in the day, like the said woman, when she was like raised in this African setting, Eva, like no love, no being told. Mm -hmm. Come on, we call her. Ni 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 ni. I love it. <laughs> okay, they are. Kuna love. <laughs> love because school fees. Love. Ili kuwa nakulisha. Kuna chakula kwa nyumba. Like ring fire. Makosa. Kuna. Mm. Makosa. Ili kuwa yeah. slippers. Na belt. So, na yeah. muiko. Yeye yeah, kupei. Yeye <laughs> kupei upper hand ya ku sema like mm -hmm. because I'm coming from this such this such family or something. Yeye kupei upper hand ya kwenye ba. Yeah. So that's no excuse. Honestly. Mm -hmm. that you're not shown this kind of love so in a pair your excuse mm -hmm. eczema, like i can that's why i'm like this mm -hmm. so that's just a lame excuse honestly okay you're about to tell me something carol ah mm -hmm. let's continue i will tell it <laughs> at a later time you, you'll tell me at a later time yes. okay all right fine Nisha is here one wakisema i think w at least one day in a year I don't know why it's one day in a whole year, but on a fako organize, they have a meeting, wende mahali kama hurupa, kama boreta, wapige nduru smart. Walie, mwenye kukaribu, amwangushie mashida, and that's catharsis for them, and catharsis is, is where you feel relief mm -hmm. uh, after, you know, something else we can do, yeah, not really at any given time, but we do it easily, or rather easier than men. So I'll say wapige nduru once a year, Alafu after that, walie vizuri, kama ni kulia, kama ni kurol kwa ground, nini wapi, just to remove all those pent up emotions. Do you, do you think we should have such an exercise? Like, and by that I mean, are we, avail are we ready to vent in some way or another? And the people that I have interviewed, I've had the pleasure or the honor of interviewing Wasani. There's some who are poets, they, they write out their emotions. The people who are artists, as in recording and performing. And that's why they, where they, you know, let out their, for lack of a better word, emotions. I pay emotions, emotions, they're so emotional. Mm -hmm. I don't like that mess, but it's neither here nor there. Do you imagine that some of us just don't have that platform? I do believe that. Mm. Let's track back to the Shusho concert. Mm. Ah, <laughs> that is what we expected. Mm. And that is why people were a bit disappointed. Mm -hmm. And that is why most people decided to travel home rather than show up for that concert. Mm -hmm. Because we were expecting just some large field, mm -hmm. like Uhuru Park. We just 
shout, scream, mm. and roll, and cry, and pray mm. for our country. Mm -hmm. But that is not what happened. It didn't turn out to be that way. Because uh, for if you have attended therapy, I have. Uh, I was dealing with my grandmother's That's death. That's brave, brave yeah. to say. But then mm -hmm. I realized that uh, when you go to therapy, there are, uh, people handle emotions differently. Mm -hmm. There are people who, uh, my therapist will tell me, you, you're, you're in denial that she's dead. Why don't you just go sit down with a diary, try to write a letter to her. What I found that a little say? bit hard. Mm. I wanted uh, to shout and scream mm. and ask, why did you go without bidding me goodbye? I wanted, and during the burial, everyone is like, just shh, just keep quiet, don't cry. Don't, don't cry. cause I want a you scene. To tell me, I want you to tell me, cry it all out. Just to get it all out. Really because right mm -hmm. you're going to have the post-trauma if you don't deal with this right now. So I feel that is the same thing that we need to tell our people. We need to make a safe space for everyone. Mm -hmm. That you're, allo you're allowed to actually uh, just scream and shout even if you're in your house just take a pillow cover your face and scream mm -hmm. as loud as you can mm -hmm. yeah. there are different ways of handling stress mm -hmm. and sometimes you don't just sit and listen to someone tell you about how your life should be mm -hmm. why are you depressed sometimes we just want to scream and shout and mm -hmm. cry mm -hmm. yeah. i'm a big up more just smart yeah uh, you can as well do that teasing. sometimes you just want to there are people who just they, they feel like alcohol can do it better for them mm -hmm. because they can't get to be themselves. They can't get into that scenario of screaming when they are sober. They you feel you're going to be embarrassed in front of your friends or people will feel like uh, you're not manly enough. Why are you crying and you're a man? But then why do you have to actually get drunk for you to get out, get it all out, the stress that you're dealing with. That's, that sounds very dangerously close to addiction, where you cannot, you know, tap into something specific in when your own nature. And yeah. Hey, but that explains why people cry in clubs, eh? That was less matures. All right, okay. How are you mm. feeling about the same? Yeah, I feel like you just have to find your comfort zone when you want to scream. Okay, some people handle eat differently, some people break stuff, okay, that is really different, but you just have to find your comfort spot if it's screaming, if it's talking to someone, if you want to just let it out by, you know, <laughs> like mm. just drinking alcohol, it's your choice, mm -hmm. but if you decide to let it all in, like, it kills you from the inside, mm -hmm. that's what eventually leads to depression, that's what eventually leads to a very long, painful life, so you just have to find your comfort zone, like, you can most <laughs> most the people most of the people usually wait for thirty first. Mm -hmm. So like people will think you're screaming for the Happy new, new year. year. Happy new year, Kumbe. but yeah, una una chilia shida zako. So mm -hmm. maybe chilia maybe next year kwa better. So either way, ina patu ujue how to feel free. If I you're not supposed to keep them all in because mm -hmm. that's even more dangerous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So I I would like to believe this advice we're giving is both for men. And women, yes, yeah. boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Now, personally, I would advise you to go through emotions sober. And I'm speaking to a, an adult that is <laughs> over 18. I'm talking to you. I really think that some things should be faced sober. Feel that pain. You see, don't fight it. When you start fighting, the more you fight pain, mm -hmm. the more aggressive hey, to fight you. Yes. But just don't watch your kunya again. <laughs> over 18 only. <laughs> Miss that advice. So watch your kamunyo. So, ni mese matuve tu zingine. You must do it sober. Please, please love yourself enough to just face it sober. Yes. All right. So niko up up Facebooku. Guys, number ni watu so metu vitu. What what some of. By the way, we're just laying a foundation for the conversation. The actual question is, fighting femicide. Something that has been trending for lack of a better term because it's been on our news for some time and you remember on Friday no Saturday we had a march in different counties on Friday for Nyeri only so swalini unafanya nini kama the youth ndio tumalize hi crime ya kuwa madem all right Ooh, can i define femicide first on monday we defined femicide during our youth mm -hmm. Uh, affairs segment and so femicide eh, hadini we cram. femicide is is when a girl or a woman is killed particularly by a man mm, uh, because of her gender that is what femicide is so a lot of times 
because I attended the march as a journalist, I was covering it. Uh, one of the things that I heard a couple of feminists say is we are putting femicide under the umbrella of gender-based violence, which is, yes, it's gender-based violence against women, but it's very specific to, you know, the end result is death. It's not sexual violence. Apa ni victim to not normalize, not a survivor, because femicide mm. equals to death, you know? All right. But when you hear fem feminist, what, what's the first thing that comes into your mind before I read your comments? Uh, Women, uh, children, uh -huh. ladies, uh -huh. mothers, uh -huh. sisters, uh -huh. siblings uh -huh. who are ladies. Uh -huh. Yes. And what do you, first thing? Feminists. Feminists. Wow. These strong, beautiful women who just want to empower other women. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, I like, I like your frame of mind. So I went <laughs> on the ground and I met a couple of feminists, very mm -hmm. vocal and very passionate. And I asked them, and I'm not really putting an umbrella on all of you because it's not just men, but I hear it mostly from men, but I'm quite sure there are some women who think the same way. When you hear the word feminist, Eh, like she's just angry at the <laughs> world. She thinks women she's should better. be. Eh, should, uh, just uh, why is there on the flip side? Because w one side of the coin, you've said something beautiful, both of you. But mm -hmm. why is the flip side so extreme? Like sasa, mtu akijita feminist, mbona taka kuwa mwana ume? Like iyo meto kahapi. Let me say this in Kiswahili. Yeah. Mtu <laughs> akijamba in public. We say inyamba, but it's jamba. Mtu uh -huh. akijamba in public and you point them out uh -huh. doing that, uh -huh. they don't like it. They don't like it. So that is like the feminists pointing out this is a wrong. Mm -hmm. But you don't like being told this is a wrong. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, what do you feel about it? Okay, I'm going to be real. What goes on in the public, mm -hmm. what my friends think, what most of the people think when they hear feminists. They'll tell me when I, okay, when I, for instance, I tell my friends I'm going to be a feminist, they, they're like, utaki kuleka. So like it's just exact okay, exactly as you put it, that these are women who are against men. They don't mm -hmm. want to they don't want to be submissive, they don't want to be told what to do, they don't want anything to do with men. Like you'll find some have children but they're divorced. So mm -hmm. they're taking this feminist thing as a cloud to mm -hmm. reverse from the from the normal life mm -hmm. to make them feel better, even though most of the people feel honestly and it's not right. To have Mukutano after this, guys. <laughs> Mukutano ingine smart. Yes. All right. So we have a couple of comments here. Sijunians in the newest. Please do interact with us um, on our Facebook page. That is at Y254. Alpha Shire says, good morning to Moranga, well represented. Again, the question is, unafanini kama the youth? And I'd like to believe that is you and me. Nakama uko youth, I'm sure ujaacha na mbali. So you're a youth at heart. So, uh -huh. kama youth, don't malize hik time ya kuwa By the way, Disclaimer, I feel like this is a very good time to put out this disclaimer that when we are saying categorically that, you know, don't kill women, eh, that doesn't mean we say kill men, kindly. Eh, so <laughs> please, eh, any type of violence, by the way, it's not okay. It's not okay. It's, it's not okay. It's just that today is very specific because it is Woman Crush Wednesday. You may disclaim this already. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Charlie Charles says, hello, I'm tuned to kill. Uh, 19, count to 19, I have a question for the ladies. Sasa, chapaza ni somi arakaraka, kameza kuwa na choma. Sasa madewe wa sponga liana wa wenyewe, wa staraje kuna mwanome ata mwangalia. This is a very good question actually. I thought ita kuja kuwa makasiriko. But he's asking if we cannot be our own sister's keeper, why should we expect mwanome? When you maybe, and, uh, and uh, I s assume he's of the frame of mind that Manome had to do, would want to protect us versus Wastana Tuna Joanna now. Again, bringing back to, uh, full circle to the point that, oh, it's something that, again, society I feel is shoving down our throats is Wastana Wa Pendani, and we're not our own sister's keeper. I'm a Liza Swali Charlie Charles. In that circumstance, I'd say that. We are taking everything from a very bad angle mm -hmm. of ladies not loving each other. Mm -hmm. We have friends. And uh, the one thing that I believe we ladies ought to do is that we have to make our guardians our first friends. Mm -hmm. 
today in social media, uh, you, when you just start scrolling on social media, there are people recording videos of the troubles they go through mm -hmm. instead of sharing it out with someone close to them. So it's about us creating that safe space. You are a father in a home. How do you see your daughter relating to the mother? How do you see your wife uh, monitoring the, the children, mm -hmm. especially the ladies? How, how are they relating in the home, ho in, in the home state? Mm -hmm. You have to know that today it's very difficult for me to get heartbroken and the first person I tell is my mom. It, mm. will, it should be, uh, Ruth is my friend, let me just call it. Ruth, I'm a poor heartbreak. Character Character development. How am I going to start telling my mother that uh, this is what has happened. Did she know that I'm in a relationship in the first place? Mm. Mm. Are we open enough to tell our mothers that I was in a relationship or our dads? Mm -hmm. So it all begins at home. If you're able to provide a safe space as a parent, mm -hmm. that's not just for mothers, that also goes for the men. Mm -hmm. You're a man. Mm -hmm. Do you provide a safe space for your daughter? Mm -hmm. That is how they get to trust other people out of the homestead mm -hmm. because um, Ruth is not my sibling, we are not related by blood, mm -hmm. but can I trust her? Mm -hmm. how, um, how do I get to trust somebody out of my circle? Mm -hmm. So as we talk of women being enemies of themselves, it's not such a, a true thing. Mm -hmm. Just a few that we can pinpoint, but that doesn't mean that we do not love ourselves. When a woman gets the seat that everyone has been vying for, we get happy when we are getting to the ballot. We have women representatives. We still love them. So we are not women. We are not enemies of, our, of ourselves. And it's not like we do not love each other. But the love starts at home. As a parent, mm -hmm. as a sibling, what mm -hmm. are you doing to provide that safe space so that when we go out there, we still get that safe space? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Do you, same kind of question, but I want to coin it differently. Do you <laughs> feel that it is easier to talk to your family, like your relatives, relatives, am I just someone who's not as close to you? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like is, it, is it easier just to talk to, not really strangers, but mm -hmm. family that you, you've chosen? Because friends are family that you've chosen, yes? And that you should be very careful who you choose as friends. True. Please. Just because Muko class moja, that makes you classmates, not friends. You can be acquaintances. <laughs> Just because Mnafanya Kazi Pamoja, that makes you colleagues, not friends. Mm -hmm. Friends are the family you choose. So do you feel like it's easier to talk to your friends versus your family? Just so tanza sabugania to liqua sleepover. So who are you who is it? Yeah, because are these things not happening? Oh my god, my mom is watching this. I'm so sorry. <laughs> 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 no, this is a hypothetical situation. Oh, yes, yes. Uh -huh. um, I feel like it's not easy talking to family members, especially your mom. She's like, she's so judgmental. She'd be like, you mean you went out? You know, you can't tell her everything. You can't tell her specific things. So, but when it's a trusted friend, you can just open up like, you know, I did this and that, this happened. So it's easier, but you can also like just feel comfortable with another family member, like for like, if it's even your cousin for one, like I really feel comfortable with my cousins. I can tell them anything mm. that is so different from my mom. I, you know, you just have to edit some parts when you're telling her a story. Mm -hmm. It was a cross it. line, yeah. Uh, yeah. It was a <laughs> 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 like, definitely, Lazma took within me your part. So like your statement here, yeah, women, we are our own enemies. I feel like the public should just stop categorizing us or like it's not all women because surely like, you have a best friend you have just you okay even your colleague like you said okay your colleague but she can still be your friend so like yes. you have so many friends at work place at home so like we're not necessarily our own enemy it's just the stereotype like the society puts after they see a particular scene when they see this scene women against women so like they just put the stereotype this and that so it's not supposed to be like that mm -hmm. mm -hmm. honestly yeah. mm -hmm. i like that eh, to me take some time on that question charlie charles thank you for being so <laughs> insightful all right uh, eh. okay prince max and i'm choosing to read this intentionally mm -hmm. prince max sophisticate says psychos are in both genders 
This awareness should be directed to government to provide facilities to hold mentally disoriented people. Why this uh, has caught my eye. Ongeza kitu ngini hapo lakini sioni kama nita nini nita isoma because this is a little bit uh, pointing fingers and naming names and I do not want to do that in this particular segment. I told you a very very sensitive topic but I will expand on this. I, it, I am attracted to this comment because he used the word psychos. Now mm -hmm. we use that word and that includes me for some time in my life that unasama tu ah. Ugu wane tu ka behavior ka make sense au ni psycho. Asikia nga wo walipigana sijui wakapiga nduru wakatoka maneba and these are I'm assuming these are couples wo sijui nini eh dema wo na kuanga psycho eh lakini hata chalewa na kuanga psycho eh do you know psychosis is an actual disorder guys it is an actual disorder is all movies and you have a straight jacket eh that's psychosis it's an actual thing so be lenient with how you're using the word psycho but now we've come full circle back to mental disorder how mm -hmm. are you feeling about this I go first. Mm -hmm. What he states about we have psychos in both genders. Mm -hmm. The one thing that we as citizens need to know and netizens need to know is that when we're talking about gender, we're not just talking about female. Mm -hmm. When we're talking about race, we're not just talking about black Americans in the US. Mm -hmm. When we're talking about uh, LGBTQ, we're not just talking about lesbians. The, word is, uh, the whole word is for both men and ladies then you have all everything in between yeah and everything in between thank you mm -hmm. so when he says that we have psychos in both genders he's mm -hmm. very correct mm -hmm. that the fact that during uh, this period where we have seen many ladies killed grisly killed mm -hmm. murdered and men still question about the dress code and do some blanket shaming of mm -hmm. the victims that alone is a problem and if you're a man and you're doing that that alone is you being psychotic it wow. starts there mm. yeah. because i do understand that if it was your sister uh, when I, I posted this sometime on my status and people were like mademo wache umalaya mademo wache umalaya and i'm like oh so if your sister was killed and you'll come oh kumbe sister alikuwa alikuwa na malaya alikuwa na umalaya I don't think that will be the first thing you see. Mm -hmm. You'll be like, why did she go there? How come she's just dead and we just talked yesterday? And then you'll start blaming the person who killed her and you'll start posting everywhere RIP. You'll be showing that empathy. But then, because this is not, you, you don't know where the shoe hurts and you're not related to these people, you just come sure. and say that mm -hmm. women watch your malaya. Mm -hmm. What about the men who go visit prostitutes? I'm very sure not all lady prostitutes are visited by their fellow ladies. They're visited by men. <laughs> so <laughs> you can't come and tell us this, that <laughs> women watch your malaya. Uh -huh. We are actually trying to protect our community, our morals. <laughs> it's not about just the ladies. It's mm -hmm. the ladies that form the major part because we are targeted. But you cannot come and tell us women watch umalaya when the monstrous, uh, the worst, the worst enemy here is that the morals we had in our community. We are harboring murderers and letting them walk scot free, and we're just comfortable with that. That shouldn't be the case. So <laughs> it all begins: who are you blaming, and are you seeing the worst enemy as murder or as a short skirt? Or <laughs> Yeah. Okay, all right. Now, mm -hmm. let me just put a bit of flesh into what you've just said. Eh? And, and I'll, I do not know if you have anything to add. <laughs> First add or, or subtract. Do you have anything to add or subtract from um, that? Yeah, uh -huh. just a little bit. Mm -hmm. I feel like most men are just, okay, forgive me, mm -hmm. they're just shallow-minded, honestly. Mm -hmm. Like in the case of the j -Code student, I think it's Rita, when she went to the Airbnb, she was, she's Rita 20, White. right? Yeah. So like... They're shallow-minded in their part, like, they don't know how long she knew the guy. Maybe they were seeing each other for some time later, back in the day. Like, they don't know the details, mm -hmm. so they're not sure. I'm sure that girl was not a whole, like, the public puts it. Yeah, like, the public puts it. I'm sure she was not like that. And Nico sure, like, we do I take time for him to convince the girl. Maybe they were even seeing each other in the past. So like, we're not just supposed to judge out of nowhere. So I did the Airbnb part apart. 
uh, the Airbnb part aside, what about those husbands killing their wives? Are they even psychos? Mm. See, they're saying, like, mm -hmm. so it's not even the psycho bit alone. Mm -hmm. They're just saying, and they're, it's just the misogynistic way or, or the culture, just the stereotypes. So they just decide to discipline their wives and then it leads to death. So, like, mm -hmm. it's, it's not even wow. the psycho bit alone. Wow, you used a very interesting word, discipline. We discipline children. Now, also using GBV. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, all right. Okay, what I'm hearing is, what I'm hearing is we need some type of awareness. And, and this particular situation, what we have decided to zero on today is femicide under the umbrella of gender-based violence. And mm -hmm. we said we're focusing on it, A, because it is Wednesday and it's the day we crush on our queens. And uh, B, because we've been making quite a few rounds on both social media, the digital scape, and of course, mainstream. Okay, that said, and I'm laying a foundation so that you please don't be mad. I said categorically, this does not mean it's okay for men to be harmed in any way, form, or manner because gender based violence, did you know, is also in the Constitution and it, <coughs> it states you should be respected and you should be protected no matter what gender you are, right? Hashtag mm -hmm. is why in the morning. Now, couple of the placards that I saw when we were covering the event on f on Saturday. Why do I keep saying Friday? Saturday. It was full circle. So while you're going to around town, uh, around Parliament Road, and then it came all the way to Jivanji where there are people who were speaking, et cetera, et cetera. But now what caught my eye was some of the placards. And we had, or I saw, I got to witness people or ladies coming out and saying, yes, I am a sex worker. I've heard someone cringe a little bit. Ukisema, sex worker in Kiswahili. <laughs> Apparently, it's not palatable but I don't feel like we should hold it as taboo because this is one of the things we're not talking about it enough mm -hmm. that's why I, it's an avenue you know you, you you put something in the dark long enough eh? it's going to sprout out one way or another I told you once you fight something mm -hmm. anyway so there are these sex workers that came out and one of the placards I read was uh, sex work pays my bills I am not condoning I am not encouraging I am just reporting what I saw Okay. Don't kill the messenger. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> this is just due diligence I'm giving you because if I was not going to give you the whole story, mm -hmm. what am I doing as a moderator, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So another placard I saw, and this now even uh, now trickled down to also T-shirts, is um, protect our daughters, but it was crossed out. And then the second message was educate your sons. Yeah? All right. H how are you feeling just about those two placards I've told mm. you about? Can I read something? Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, this was, uh, sometimes I get emotional and write. So this was something I wrote the time that Rita Waini was butchered. And this was it. The old age misery of the murdered woman, a tale as timeless as gossip and as predictable as the tides, especially when, oh dear, a man is involved. Surely, in this grand opera of femininity, when the first incident occurred, every street was painted with the time Wasitana Wache Omalaya, ha. Huh? Could it not be, my esteemed colleagues in armchair criminology, that a woman might seek a company of a man for reasons beyond that vulgar exchange of coin for flesh? Perhaps she had laughter, intellectual discourse, or the intoxicating thrill of simply existing in another's orbit. Nay, such complexi complexities are beyond the grasp of those who see women as marionettes, forever dancing to the strings of avarice. Oh, bless their little scandalous hearts, those maidens who dare sip forbidden cocktails and sway to music less gentle than a lullaby. How their painted smiles and carefree laughter pierce the very fabric of propriety. But fret not, dear guardians of etiquette, for while their conduct may ruffle your starched feathers, I implore you, spare a sliver of outrage for the truly monsters. Last one. For in this grand of stage of life, where rogue replaces rosaries and laughter drowns out summons, a far darker drama unfolds. Limbs are, fl are, are lopped off like wilted lilies, and life snuffed, lives snuffed out faster than a dropped monocle. And yet, our collective gasp seems reserved for the scandalous twirl of an ankle, not the chilling crunch of bone on bone. How curious, is it not? that we expend more energy lamenting the misplaced comma in a lady's department than the gaping chasm of morality in our midst. Wow. Wow. Yes. 
poets are mapanyale. Wow, wow, wow. So, so that mm -hmm. mostly talks of the second placard mm -hmm. that you state, um, protect our daughters crossed and uh, educate your sons. Why are we not looking at them truly monstrous here? Because you cannot compare murderers and uh, what? The victim. The victim. Mm -hmm. This is someone who has gone through something. And when you talk about sexual workers, that sex, uh, sex or working is actually paying my bills. There Actually, are people the who, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there are people who are, are educated. Their parents are doing that in front of them. They, th there was a motivator back then. His name was uh, Janet back in, uh, that was in the Gulu Girls High School. Mm -hmm. And he was saying that he knew of someone who, they live in a small single room, and it is in that very room the children huddle in a corner while a guest comes in so that they can have that conjugal activity wow. so that the mother actually gets something for them on the table. Mm -hmm. So you cannot just start pointing fingers without getting to know what is the root cause of actually us getting to meet strangers. But even having a conversation on Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram, it's for networking. How are we not going to network then? We are having a platform for us to get to know people. We have LinkedIn. Why don't we complain of that? Because wow. we are trying to get to know this person has the same uh, interest as I do. We want to just have a, a little laughter and intellectual discourse. How about that? That not every time we get to socialize on uh, uh, Facebook or other media platforms, media handles, uh, it's just about we want to have sex in exchange for money. That's not it. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. That was, that was very deep and... and we okay. Now, unfortunately, I can see our time is trickling away. Uh, I want to end this conversation with a very simple question and I urge you to answer it as, as, as succinct as you possibly can, like as, as, as short as you possibly can. And the question is this, huh? because to Kitokapa, we're going to talk to ladies, maybe, because there was a particular lady during, again, the march that we covered on Saturday in Jivanji Gardens. She was booed. Yeah. And I'm not talking about the Honorable Esther Pasari, that is not who I'm talking about. There was another lady and I do not condone what the, the, the reaction of the crowd, but Kidogo Kenya Lisema was not really adding up. It's basically translated to victim shaming. So what happens when we leave this set? See, now we seem to have a very firm understanding that it's not okay to be violent to anyone, not just women, I said, women and men. No one deserves any kind or form of violence. Like, we cannot convince each other at Jua Lisema Ndionili, no. No one, violence should not be condoned in any way, form or manner. But to talk about, I'm sure kuna mtu kwa njia ata kuambia, si sunora, shida si wanome. Shida ninyi? Shida ninyi. So how do you have a conversation in love and in respect? Because we said educate your sons. But what if we find someone's son and we're the ones in position to educate them? How best do we have a conversation without getting upset? How best do we have it? Please make your answers very short. Okay. One thing is for sure, honestly, if this son comes to me and they're saying, oh, this, we are just misguided hoes trying to get money in Airbnbs, once you blame the, once you blame the victim, you're definitely affirming the murderer. So it's either you're on the victim's side or, or you're on the murderer's side. So it's not just about the, the ones being killed in Airbnbs, the, those being killed with their husbands, those who are found just on the road dumped. So it's not okay to blame the victim, whatever the reason, whatever scenario, because everyone deserves to live, no one deserves to die. So you do not have a right to blame this person because they died in an, an, horrible, an honorable way. So they did not choose to die like that, honestly. So let's just work together to create this safe environment for everyone, mm -hmm. especially for women right now, because we are just scared to go out here. Yeah. You have to like share your live, live location and everything. Mm -hmm. So just let's just work together to create this safe environment. Thing, by the way, oh, yeah. squeeze it, king. Yeah, in Mahali, to not live location. At Even least to far. one person. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Hey, it's become bad. Okay, now, as, as I allow you this particular platform, let me just echo a couple of things that I've heard Ruth say, and one mm -hmm. of them is safety, where, where we just want to feel safe when mm -hmm. we leave the house. Nikipanda mat, najwanda shuka vizuri sana bila 
kuguzwa guzwa ovyo ovyo like nikiingia mahali i just expect to be safe in my own skin and my own surroundings i don't want to keep looking over my shoulder bwana na imagine ukienda kwa nje ya mtu guys you in your own country and you're feeling unsafe now na unataka ni hame niende wapi where do you want me to go and also i really like that you've opened up the conversation to not just now mm. what is making headlines right now is this particular establishments ni mechoka nayo jina so test taisema this particular establishments and they're being condemned because their existence was was very heavy leaning on the fact that specific people wanted privacy mm -hmm. so i think that's, that's the problem here that's why here cctvs used to be put where inside to see how and and what not and all these things but you've opened up the converse, the conversation to married couples mm -hmm. you're finding women being killed there you're finding mtu uliata na eh hadi uka move on in kiambu Oh, Sidri Nani's ex-husband went and killed the ex-wife and, mm -hmm. and the current husband. Oh, your your boyfriend. It's Even just scared it's, to fall in love. Yeah, it's it's a very very big conversation. We're just <laughs> yeah. let me we're in it, Waji. Bottlenecking it like it's this it's this small to you, but it's it's so much yeah. bigger than what's happening right now. And and if you look at the fruits, and not at the roots, we're really not getting anywhere. We're really not. I, uh, Last but not least, Carol, I would like to tell you this. Mm -hmm. We will not be scared. We will not be threatened. We will not bow down to innuendos, conjecture, mm -hmm. and any other form of poorly submitted opinions. That men, you can talk to ladies in an appropriate manner. The, le the gentlemen who just sent their uh, opinions, they did it in an appropriate manner, respectful manner. In as much as there are things that you want to educate us on, kindly do that in a respectful manner. We do respect opinions that are poorly, w that are uh, uh, well submitted, but you cannot come to us with poorly submitted opinions trying to shame us for just being ladies. So in as much as uh, you also try to show us that you're not intellectual enough, mm -hmm. we are also coming to educate you. Mm -hmm. But you cannot look down on us that we are ladies, we cannot do anything to you men. We are telling you that we have way more knowledge that you ought to know about. Mm -hmm. And that is something that even the government ought to do, educating the, the, the ladies and the gentlemen all together on gender-based violence mm -hmm. and specifically femicide. Yes. All right. Thank you so very much, Carol and Ruth. It's been a pleasure having you on the panel. I remember the Article 21 of the Constitution of Kenya 2010, it says in part one, it is a fundamental duty of the state and every state organ to observe, respect, protect, promote, and fulfill the rights and fundamental freedoms in the Bill of Rights. Again, we categorically, from myself, categorically say that any kind of violence against any gender is not condoned and it's not right, cannot be excused kindly, please, yes. Can we please just live in love? by the way, my name is Valentine or at Kalamiva. Thank you so very much for allowing us to host you. And by we is myself and of course Grasha my Inge. We have enjoyed your company. We insist, not just suggest, that you stay here at Channel White by Four because we have so much more content for you. And I will see you when I see you. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.